Okay, so could you tell me why you're here today? Um, I'm here because uh, one of the organizers, or the organizer of Berkeley Spark, asked me to be here. She saw my electric assist cargo trike somewhere in uh, in town, in Oakland, and uh, asked me to be a part of this event today. Okay, so I see a website, frankentrikes.com. Yes. Can you tell me about that? Um, so that's a documentation of the uh, six electric uh, assist tricycles that I've made uh, over the past several years. Um, I've done uh, rickshaws and cargo trikes. Um, always two wheels in the front and one in the back, tadpole design. And so uh, you can go to that uh, site. It's like Frankentrikes, like Frankenstein. So F R A N K E N T R I K E S dot com okay. to see a, a visual of uh, what I make. Okay, now this one here is this the uh, the sixth trike you've made? No, this was only the second one. This is the second one. Uh, many of the later models ended up going into the hands of clients as custom builds. So I'm not in possession of those, and they don't actually uh, live in the Bay Area. Is it a commercial venture where people can order a trike and you'll build it for them? So once upon a time, uh, I believed that I could do custom builds. However, I learned through experience that uh, the custom builds were part an interesting learning process, but that I couldn't build the vehicle for somebody at a price point that was reasonable and still break even in the process. Um, so I had to actually stop uh, doing it that way um, because it wasn't sustainable. So um, at this point though, after building six, I am about 80% done with the prototyping process and I'm very happy with what I've learned and where things have gone. And now I would like to finish prototyping in order to go into small batch manufacturing. Okay. <clears throat> and what, what sort of tricks have you learned along the way building six of these things? Um, I've learned, I guess I've learned what works and what doesn't work. Um, one thing in this culture is that as Americans, we don't have a lot of experience with three-wheeled bicycles or three-wheeled cars for that matter. And so um, simply by building different ones and learning sort of what features work, what uh, geometries and architectures work, has really helped me to get more of a real-world understanding of what works best uh, moving in the streets of our cities. Um, uh, in terms of usability, enjoyability, practicality, stability, and durability. Mm -hmm. How's your Kickstarter campaign? So, um, the next step with Frankentrikes, I'd like to bring Frankentrikes back to life. And if you would like to um, participate, you can go to my website and email me um, from the homepage at segwayatfrankentrikes.com and ask to be on my announce list. And when I'm ready to get this project up and running again, I'm gonna do a Kickstarter campaign and I'll send out an announcement of that to everybody on the list. I do not spam that list. I do not send out announcements hardly ever, except for when it's really relevant and different information. Um, but it would be a way for you to um, keep tabs on the project and to know when we're actually ready to roll again. Uh, so yeah, thank you for your support. Check out my site. Okay, thanks for your time.